So we know it's going to take a long time before supersonic or even hypersonic passenger planes are going to be in the air. The last time anybody besides a fighter pilot was able to hit Mach speed was in one of these. But that was 20 years ago. The Concorde didn't just hit Mach speed, it went double the speed of sound. It's a relic left behind by an industry that invested in efficiency rather than speed. And development is going to take a lot of investment. We would need to have both low boom aircraft and very abundant, very cheap SAFs in order for supersonics to succeed. SAF stands for Sustainable Aviation Fuel. It's still an emerging technology, but it's one that's going to play a crucial role when it comes to these planes because of just how much fuel they need. Let's compare fuel use against standard subsonic airline travel. Commercial planes vary, but take the two most common planes flying today, the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. They both use around three tons of fuel per hour. Now compare that to the Concorde, which used a massive 22.6 tons per hour and for a lot fewer passengers. Even if you were to calculate it per distance, Concorde gets 13.48 miles per gallon to a 777's 80. Now, it's obvious that jet fuel is different from petrol. It's actually closer to diesel. But for a simple comparison, a full flight on Concorde is the emissions equivalent of every passenger on board driving from London to New York in a Ferrari 812 Competizione. 